And I said, well, Bryson, what's really, what's important to me is real church. And real church comes in many flavors. Christ Church Oxford was real church because it was an ancient building which people had prayed in for a thousand years. And I don't know how it works, but it was soaked in prayer. And the silence was so thick you could cut it with a spatula. But the Advocate is real church. And it's real church, I think, because of the people who come to the Advocate, as we always say. <coughs> some, so many of us are really searching to find some more mean, something to give us more meaning and purpose in our lives. And there's a kind of energy to that search that, that's, that's infectious. Other people here have been to hell and back so many times that they don't even consider that they might do life on their own. They know their need of God. <laughs> and that too is contagious. And other people have had rather stable lives, but in that stability, they have prayed through and chewed life through day by day with prayer so that the daily bread of their lives is also infested with the Spirit of God. And what, what that means is that when we all come together, people have, are so open to the presence of God for one reason and another, that we're also open to each other and the Spirit can circulate around. And that's what makes it real church, a place when you come here, you can sense that God is really, really real. Not to mention really, really good. <laughs> Criterion when I look for a church when I'm going to have to go church hunting again um, is whether the church is willing to take risks. I'm not greedy. I have to be able to take risks along some dimension. But of course, as the advocate, we take risks along many dimensions. <laughs> and I'm very grateful that you've included.